We can perform a variety of missions, anywhere from intelligence preparation of the battlefield all the way up through battle damage assessment. We can laser designate targets for other armed platforms. Test valve open, secondary shuttle break in rotated working position. Test valve open and secondary shuttle break in rotated working position. Verify lid, AD cable light illuminated. By the very nature of our flighter op operations here with the personnel we have, just about every drill weekend we're doing internal collective training. Um, we require the maintainers as our crew chiefs to actually launch the aircraft. Uh, they're working in conjunction with the operators in the shelter to make that happen, so there's crew coordination going on the whole time. Um, any downtime typically involves either preparing for flights, conducting mission briefs, um, pre-flight planning, pre-flight inspections on the aircraft and equipment, uh, and the maintainers are fueling, defueling, performing PMDs, turnarounds afterwards, defueling operations, and it's a continuous cycle every day. I would be considered a pilot. Seven months of training in school, once you earn your wings, then you move on to your unit where I've spent eight years. The military job helps more with the civilian job because you get more experience and when you go to apply for jobs, it helps a lot. Right now I work for a defense contractor and we do uh, UAV testing with quadcopters. We get more flight hours and a lot of active duty units. After I graduated from Fort Pachuca, I realized the great capabilities of what they provide for uh, security and safety of our troops. Mm -hmm.